I just can't stand to step in a shower where other people have stood with their dirty feet. And plus, what if they use the bathroom in there? Like that just gives me the heebie-jeebies. And I know somebody's gonna comment and say, well, you're in a sterile. Well, it may be sterile, but I don't wanna step on it. Hey everybody, it's Becky. Welcome back to my channel. I feel like I haven't talked to you guys in forever, but I guess it's because I pre-filmed a bunch of videos before we went on vacation to Disney. And then we were gone to Disney for almost two weeks. So I haven't made a video in a while. And, but while I was on vacation, I actually came up with a couple more ideas that I thought would be really fun to share. And I couldn't wait to get home and share them with you guys. And this video is really neat too, because it's actually a collaboration with a fellow YouTuber slash Disney nut. Her name is Kim and her channel is The Wads. Their last name is Wadsworth, so it's The Wads. And she is hilarious. They actually live in Florida, so they're lucky enough to live closer to Disney than we do. Hello, party people. My name is Kim. My channel name is The Wads, and I'd love for you to come check us out. Uh, our family consists of five people, my husband and I, and then our three kids. We have two girls and one boy, ages seven, four, and one. Can't believe I got that right. Uh, what kind of videos do I do? I don't know, all of the above, anything you can think of. Well, like lunch videos, cleaning videos, around the house videos, and um, apparently Disney videos, anything. I would love for you to come check out my channel. I'm kind of crazy, borderline, but I think you'll have a good time hanging out with me. She is so funny. She's definitely the funniest person that I watch on YouTube. So definitely check out her channel and her video because she and I are actually gonna be sharing our weird things that you may not think to take to Disney um, or really any place, any trip, but especially Disney or an amusement park. Um, these are all like weird, obscure, last minute things that maybe you didn't or wouldn't think to bring that really, really are useful. And I really came up with this list because as we were on vacation, I was thinking like, this is really handy, or this is working out for me really well, or this is making my life easier, you know, trying to carry all this stuff, and I've got this, and it makes things so much easier. So that is what we're sharing today. So definitely make sure when you get done watching this video that you check the description box. I will have her channel and her video linked so that you can go and subscribe to her channel because you will love her, and you can watch her video of her weird things to take to Disney. So my first weird thing Maybe this isn't weird, but I'm the only person that I know that takes a bath mat when I go on vacation. I know that housekeeping comes in and cleans the shower and all that, but I just can't stand to step in a shower where other people have stood with their dirty feet. And plus, what if they use the bathroom in there? Like, that just gives me the heebie-jeebies. And I know somebody's going to comment and say, well, you're in a sterile. Well, it may be sterile, but I don't want to step on it. Uh, so I definitely like to bring a bath mat. I've had the same bath mat for years. It's the only time I ever use it is when we go on vacation. So I roll it up and put it in the suitcase. You can get them at Walmart or Amazon, somewhere really cheap. You don't have to spend a lot. And then when I get back home, I will bleach it out in our tub and then wait till it dries, roll it back up and keep it packed away until our next trip. It just makes me feel a lot better to step on a bath mat than it does to step on a hotel tub. It's, and also a lot of times they're slippery. And if you've got young kids or yourself even, um, sometimes it's hard if they're slippery to stand on them and if it gets wet or soapy, it's kind of dangerous. So I just think it's a good thing to bring. It may be weird, but I personally like bringing one and I think everybody should. So that's the first weird thing. The second thing I don't have to show you because I have not purchased them yet, but I'm seriously considering purchasing them for next year because we had the worst weather we have ever had. I've been going to Disney about every year since I was nine years old. And I have to say, this was the worst weather we have ever had. It rained every single day but one. And not like a Florida drizzle, like, oh, it's the afternoon rain. It'll go away in an hour. No. Soaked to the bone, the soles of your shoes squish. You have to take them out and dry them every night in the hotel, like, air conditioner vent thing. Like, every day, just soaked and soaked and soaked. And it was miserable. We fought the rain the entire trip. Um, and so when one of the nights we were walking, or I should say squishing out of the park, we saw some people that were braving the rain and they had their ponchos on, but they also had on like shoe covers, waterproof shoe covers. I did not know this was a thing that even existed, but if I had had them when we were on vacation, I would have worn them and I would have made my kids wear them because when you get wet and then you go into a, a restaurant or somewhere to eat or you're whatever, first of all, you're miserable. And second of all, it's cold, and so then your feet are wet, and your socks are wet, and your everything's wet. And it would have been so nice to have those shoe covers. I didn't know they even existed. Maybe I'm the only person that didn't know. But they do exist. You can actually get them on Amazon, of course. 
And I think um, just in case this happens again, which hopefully it doesn't. So I plan next year and any future trip to Disney to at least buy these shoe covers and have them. If we don't need them, then we don't need them. But if we do need them, I know we're gonna be glad that we had them. So it's something to think about. Yeah, they're stupid looking, but you know what else is stupid looking? Walking around with soggy shoes and socks and dripping clothes. So ponchos, always, apparently shoe covers now are something we need to bring. So I don't know what happened to the weather this year. It was crazy. The third thing is something new that we have never brought to Disney. And this was our first year going to Disney without a stroller. So one benefit of a stroller, if you're a parent who has a kid in a stroller, is you know that basically they're like a rolling backpack. You can put water bottles, you can put diapers, you can put whatever you need in the stroller and you don't have to schlep it around in a backpack. Well, we didn't have a stroller this year and I wanted to still have a way to keep water bottles for all of us without having to just like cram them in the backpack. So I found these at the last minute on Amazon it came in a pack of five. So basically you have this little rubber kind of a grommet O-ring kind of a thing that you slip over the mouth of the water bottle and then you have this carabiner or whatever they're called um, that clips on your backpack or your belt loop or your camera bag, wherever you wanna hang them. And that way everybody had their own individual water and it was nice too because all of these were different colors. So we knew like silver was my youngest daughter's, orange was my husband's. So it worked out really nicely. And I think for a pack of five, it was around $15. So it was a, a pretty good bargain and we could definitely reuse them year to year. So that is something new that we, that we um, did this year that we tried and it worked out really well. So I like those. Another kind of a weird thing to bring that you may not have thought of on a vacation is a laundry hamper, especially when you stay for quite a while like we did. We stayed for nine nights. So you've got to think you've got nine nights worth of clothes for everybody plus we were changing clothes twice a day because we were getting wet and that was a lot of laundry and I just could not keep up with the laundry bags that they would bring housekeeping would bring a couple and we'd fill them up within like a day so it got to be a lot of laundry bags so if you're going to be staying somewhere for quite a while I would definitely recommend getting a pop-up hamper now you wouldn't want to do this probably if you're flying uh, but if you're driving then what I would do is get maybe a couple pop-up hampers uh, and then just kind of stack them neatly out of the way in the hotel room and then put your laundry in there. And then if you're driving, you can either bring the laundry home in the laundry basket, don't even pack them, you know, just keep them in the hamper. And what's even better is if you are able to sort your laundry as it's dirty. So like you have one hamper that is socks and underwear and you have one that's like light colors, one that's dark colors. That way, if you're keeping them in the hamper, when you get home, all you have to do is carry the hamper straight into your laundry room and you can immediately start doing your first load of laundry the minute you walk in the door from your trip. So you can definitely do that with laundry bags too. You can definitely sort them by load type, um, but they're not very big bags and you probably will find that you're gonna have to keep getting more and more bags from housekeeping. If you have a, if you have a hamper, you can probably put more laundry in that. The next thing that really helped me especially is because I'm the primary videographer and photographer in the family. My husband does too, but I really take most of the videos and a lot of the pictures. And so I wanted to have my phone out for easy access, but I did not want to have to carry it in my hand the whole time. And so this is actually something that I've had. Now this is my second year bringing this. Um, I don't know what brand. Yeah, this is the Gear Beast cell phone lanyard. It's basically a silicone cell phone holder. Um, I'll put it on my phone in a minute and show you. But basically, your phone goes in here and it's got this strap that I wear across uh, my shoulder. I guess you could put it around your neck, but I keep it on my shoulder. That way, I'm hands free still, but it's right there on my shoulder um, and I can pop it up and use, you know, take a video or a picture anytime I want. Another thing I did this year to kind of step it up a little bit was added my pop socket to the back of this cell phone lanyard thing. So that way, because last year one problem I ran into, and this is really dumb, but my pinky, it, these phones are heavy and as much as I was videoing, my pinky would get sore, you know, trying to balance it like this. So I put my pop socket on the back of this thing. And that way when I have my phone in it, I can just do this. And it made it a lot easier to film without having to like try to balance it on my pinky or whatever. Um, so that may be just me, but I think the pop socket came in really handy. And I did have somebody actually stop me and ask me where I got this thing. So it is really, really neat. It's really, really inexpensive. And this is the second year now that we have taken it and it's held up really nicely. And they have all different colors. So I'll have that link for you guys. And the last thing I wanted to tell you that you probably want to bring with you, but you may not have thought of is a flashlight for the hotel room or even in the park. My husband had a little flashlight that he kept tucked into. Um, there's like a little pocket on our backpack and he put a little flashlight in there. 
And it was really nice to have because sometimes walking out of the park, especially at night in the parking lot, it's dark. Or if we were leaving a, a, like a fireworks show, they don't always have the lights turned up in the park in certain areas. So it can be a little hard to see. So having that flashlight came in really handy. So it may not be something you thought to bring, but it really does come in, in handy. And also in the hotel room, you know, checking under your bed or something like that. It's easier if you have a flashlight, you can see a lot better. You just never know when you need a flashlight. It's just something you need to bring no matter where you go. So even to Disney, you really should probably bring some kind of a flashlight with you just in case. So those are my weird, random, last minute products that you really should take with you on a trip to Disney or pretty much anywhere. Uh, but especially Disney. I hope this was helpful and you enjoyed it. Make sure that you check out Kim's video. I can't wait to hear what weird products that she comes up with. And I know it's going to be funny no matter what she says because she's hilarious. So definitely check out her video. Subscribe to her channel. You will love her. And if you're interested in any of the things that I talked about, I will have everything linked for you guys in the description box in case you want to purchase it for your next trip to Disney or any vacation really. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end of this video. If you want to see two of my older videos, you can click the links right here. And if you want to subscribe to my channel, if you haven't already, and you definitely should, you can click right here. I upload every single week. I have some links in the description box for some of my favorite stores and products, as well as my PO box address. Check out those links if you're interested in those. And I will see you guys in the next video.